All right, welcome to Cox Mill High School. I'm here with Jeff Hood from Hoodie's House, the CEO, and, of course, Vashti Hurt from the Carolina Blitz, the managing editor. Big uh, signing here is going to take place today. Wendell Moore, 6'6", 215. It's going to change the landscape, I think, of college basketball. Vashti, you do extensive reporting, not just in college and uh, pro athletics, but high school as well. You had a big signing last week. What are you, what are you hearing? What do you think is going to happen? I um, First of all, I like Wendell as a player. He's a, all, he's a good teammate. He plays well on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. Um, just his mindset, the way that, you know, his upbringing, getting to know his family um, and, and, the, and the piece that we did with him on that you can find on ADSN. Um, I, I actually like, it's, I think it's either going to be UNC or Duke. Those are the two schools that he's had the most communication with. Given his academic background, um, smart kid, he's been taking college courses, I probably think he goes more the Duke route than UNC. Jeff, what are you hearing? Yeah, what well, do you think? That's pretty much what I'm hearing as well. You know, but, but to me, this isn't just about the fit relative to the academics. It's about the fit as it relates to basketball. You know, I think that there are some holes in the game, as, as all kids, you know, that are in high school right now. You know, they, they have some opportunities to be coached up, you know. So you want to look at the situation that's going to best help them. Again, all of their, their, their endeavors right now is to get to the NBA. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so who is going to help me to fill those holes in my game? to get me to that, ne he, it, that next level. How many years in college is he going to stay? Do you well, think anybody knows? I don't think he's a one-and-done kid. You know, I think that there's some 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 things that he needs to work on. Um, you know, very athletic kid. Um, he passes a lot of the tests as it relates to good kid, coachable, listens, high motor. He has all of those intangibles. But there's some other things that he needs to work on, you know, improve his shot. You know, for example, that's one of the right. areas that he has to work on. You know, so I don't think he's a one and done kid. If he works hard and puts in the work that I see that he's put in thus far, I don't see why maybe not as a two or three year kid. Now, Vashtar, what do you think? Is he a good ball handler? Can he be a one, one, two combo guard or, or maybe a two, three perimeter uh, swingman? I'm thinking more one, two combo guard. Um, yeah, I've seen he handles the ball really well. Right. Uh, he looks to get his teammates involved first. He's kind of, you know, more he can he facilit he can facilitate really well, but he also has the ability to score. That's the only thing that I would like to see him be sometimes is more aggressive offensively mm -hmm. um, because he has the ability to create his own shot, to make shots. Um, but sometimes, you know, he he will look to to his teammates instead of taking that taking that shot himself. So I think that, you know, whomever uh, wherever he goes and whatever coach uh, he falls under, they will probably push that on him to try to be more aggressive offensively because you have the skill to do that. Sure. And, and, and I tell you the other thing, you know, you always look at and, and relate a player to another player, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. you're looking at, OK, well, you look at Wendell Moore, who does he maybe translate into, you know, and some of the players, you know, from the times that I've seen him or, you know, in the in the basketball halls of, of conversation. You know, some of the names that I hear is he's maybe a, 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 a poor, poor man, Kawhi Leonard. You know, or he's Oh, a don't bring poor, that name up. You're man. killing me. I'm a Spurs fan. And, and, <laughs> well, and you know, we got that, bad news. Are you Dejante. salty? No, no. Yeah, and jo DeJounte Murray tearing an ACL today. That really makes me oh, yeah, really in a that. bad mood. Yeah, See, I was going to compare but, him to a DeJounte Murray type of guy. That type of size who has good uh, uh, perimeter defensive skills, mm -hmm. can dribble, can't, but like you say, needs to work on the shot. Right, and, and, and who is that? That's Kawhi Leonard. You know, you think about when Kawhi first came shot. in. When, well, when Kawhi first came into the yeah. league, his shot is nowhere near as it is now. Yeah, you know, it came through it goes a lot away. of work and confidence. Awesome. I don't think so. Kawhi's gonna be a, a good guy. You know. Well, yeah. I asked Wendell um, <clears throat> who he thinks that his game is, who he would pattern his game after, or who he thinks his game more reflects. He told me Paul George. Hmm. Can't be can't go wrong there. I can see that. I can see that. But the, I, I guess for me, the where it differs just a little bit is Paul George is a little bit well, and again you're talking about somebody that's already in the league versus right. someone making, on the uh, verge yeah. you money. know so when you talk about needing to work and, and, and to close that separation gap I would say taking people taking people off of taking people off of the dribble mm -hmm. a little bit more and like you said yeah. Paul George has that intangible he's going to go at you yeah. You know, and that's where again the window needs to work a little bit is saying, okay, look, 
we're in a fight right now, I'm coming at you. Yeah. I'm just going to throw a little wild card in there. Sure. I, I, I live in Concord. I, I, okay. my, my daughter has friends with the Black family of Leaky Black, who's yeah. a former teammate who played here. Well, he plays in North Carolina, doesn't he? He does. Okay. Yeah. I'm just he saying, I'm, and, I'm, I'm and, just putting that out there. Yeah, and, and, and he's good friends. Y'all can, y'all can connect the dots. I'm just putting it out well, there. Well, um, I'm, I'm very familiar with the, the, the black I mean, you're, family you're as well. In. You're dialed in. And, and, and actually, I'm the one that wind up getting Leaky to go to Mount Verde Academy. Quiet as kept. Look, my, his mom was principal of uh, my, my children's oh, elementary school. Sure. But look, well, God, we have a yeah. week in the life of Wendell Moore. Yeah. We had, and you guys did nice. a great feature on that. Let's go to that now. Let's see Almost every team that has ever won a championship has had a special player to elevate them to that coveted place. For a select group of high school players, being special enough to get to that platform means they will probably have to grapple with a time-honored tradition. Decision Day. Reaching that milestone for blue chip athletes such as Cox Mill High School's Wendell Moore is an arduous process for both the player and everyone in their inner circle. How intense has this recruiting process been for you as a parent, as a father? It's been easy at first, rough in the middle. Now hopefully it's getting, it's getting easier. Uh, like you said, coaches are called. Uh, two or three coaches from one school to call it one day or, uh, and ask uh, how we doing, what we doing, uh, what we need to do, how we need to do it. It was fun in the beginning, but yeah. <laughs> it's not fun oh, anymore. I'm, I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> Each team has two or three coaches, so that's like 30 calls in, a, in a, one certain moment. But I'm the, I'm the one that they never uh, really call a lot because I don't answer my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these bitches have been, have been like really like, like surreal to me because I walk in a hotel room and, there, and there's like a slam magazine poster sitting on the floor and, uh, and, and just different things that schools try to do like, like as a recruiting pitch. It's something that we all wanted him to go through. You know, he, he could have made his decision on one of the offers, but um, he thought it out. And this is an experience you only get once. So why not experience the process all the way to the end? You know, as he's been for four years now solid, being recruited heavily by uh, the ACC schools and, and the Big Tens and the Pac-12s. And so it's not affecting him all. He handles every situation like uh, a mature adult to be a 17-year-old kid. Uh, even when he came into school as a freshman, as a 14-year-old, he was handling it really well. I've got a chance to meet some of the best coaches in the world. And I hope that those connections I'll have for the rest of my life. Where a player chooses to play college ball is critical in developing his game for the next level. And there are myriad roads to the top. But Wendell Moore was born to play the game of basketball. He took his first step chasing the ball to go put in this little game he had. And he would run, pick the ball up, and crawl back, and put it in the hoops, and the lights would come on. So he And how went, old was he, like one or two? First up for around nine months. So he picked the ball up, turned around. And his dad would, you know, kind of position him and tell him to shoot. Stepped over to the thing, put it in the hole, and the lights started flashing. Since then, he's been playing basketball forever. <laughs> and as he started getting taller, we would continue to raise it. I mean, I wasn't the best then, but... Uh, I mean, I just knew how to work to, to like to be great someday, and I kind of knew I was going to be special in the in, around that middle school, about sixth or seventh grade. A lot of big kids at that time, they were just putting them in the post, and they would just tell him to do post moves, but he could actually dribble, and he looked like he was like 15 at the time. So I was like, "There's no way that he's 11." That's why I knew he's special. There's a little thing in the back; you can move it up and down. So me and my teammates come down here, and we'll have like a little dunk contest down here on this goal. Uh, we'll play like 21 or have teams, stuff like that. So uh, it really has got a lot of memories on it. We've changed our eating habits to, to help him. Mm -hmm. And we, we can see the difference. 
you know, especially on the court, he's he's running longer. He, he can go out and play those minutes. Mm -hmm. He's going to the gym on his own for yoga. Uh, he does the Cairo. And, um, you know, you're trying to prepare his body, too, for when he moves on to college. So you work out twice a day? Uh, at least twice a day. How long part. have you been doing that? That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, it really all started in middle school. I, I used to get around five or six and go to the Y. I mean, that's kind of why I fell in love with the game in middle school. You know, like sixth, seventh grade. Uh, so I had Dom. Uh, he would come get me like, uh, like early in the morning and we'd just go to the Y and work out right before school. Some players build their talents later in life. Others get discovered purely by accident. But in head coach Jody Barbie's program, keeping top-level basketball skills sharp requires practice. Lots and lots of practice. Let's go, let's go! We've had a good week so far. Let's continue what we're doing. It's a process. You have to trust it. You got to believe in it. Right? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Hey, what are we today, fellas? The family three, family three, one, two, three. Family. family. What do you do off the court? Uh, really probably chill with my friends. Uh, we play video games. Uh, if not, I'm, uh, I'm just somewhere laid up. Probably sleep. Mm-hmm. 2K? Yeah, 2K. Okay. <laughs> what team do you play with? I play with any team. Any? Are you good, though? I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> are you the best among your friends? Yeah, by far. Would they say the same thing, though? No, nah, they probably <laughs> wouldn't say so. <laughs> Every day. Yeah. Yeah, you're not the best, but it's all right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got some highlights on them. I ain't gonna put it. I got some highlights on them. I got some proof. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody raves about his talent, but a lot of people don't know him outside of basketball and, and uh, the kind of person he is. is he's, a, he's a loving kid, uh, charisma, smile he got every, day, every single day. So I've enjoyed the last three and a half, four years with him and I uh, look forward to you know, trying to cap off his senior year in a, in a big way. Along with being a coach's dream on the court, Moore also checks all the boxes as a great teammate. Uh, I love playing with him. He's a great leader on the court. Off the court, he's just a, a real cool dude, like silly. People don't see that stuff off the court, but like, yeah, real fun to hang out with, silly. I love him. I love my boy. That's my boy. What did he get from you? Sports and charisma. <laughs> <laughs> he got the sports from me. He, uh, uh, we, we're like a team. Um, I handle everything sports, she handled everything books, and then we come together on personality. How important is it for him to be that well-rounded person? You know, you just can't rely on basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why with me, academics is so important. He, he knows the rule in the house is I only take one B, mm -hmm. literally. And if he gets more than one B, he knows I'll call his coach and say, look, now he's not going to play. Really? Because I want him to be able to, you know, thank God that he has a basketball scholarship offers, but academically he can get there too. The room that Wendell's mother designed to showcase his accomplishments is filling up quickly with championship trophies and scholar athlete awards. And it proves that he is no flash in the pan. My mom kind of put this together for me just so I can look back on all my memories. My USA picture. This is from this past year's team. So in all these dreams, I, I'll probably say this one is, it, is probably the most important to me. Not only because it's my first one. I have my CP3 team, so that's our logo. Uh, we got my number, again right here, number 30. And that's a bond that I still have today with those guys. I still talk to them all the time. So this is something that we're never gonna be able to forget. This one right here was really cool to me because I actually got a chance in April to, uh, to get a chance to go to the Final Four in, in the National Championship game. And uh, like a cool part for me, just getting a chance to play on the floor and, uh, and having a chance to watch all the games and, how, and just how great the atmosphere really is. Yeah, people start to notice me a little bit out in public. Uh, maybe sometimes I'll go to the mall or something like that and 
me, like a little kid, they come at me and ask for a picture or something. Um, I mean, it really doesn't get too crazy. And I see it more as it, it, it's like an opportunity more than uh, more than like something negative. I mean, I'll probably say I spend every day thinking about it uh, for the past like two or three years ever, ever since I, I've kind of started getting this recruiting attention. I mean, it's something that I just always have to think about because because really it's just my future. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't want to put my future in the hands of of somebody I don't think that can uh, that can do me right. Moore's list is now down to the final four, with Kentucky surprisingly no longer on the list. I think for me, I didn't, I, I didn't put Kentucky in my final four because I wanted, I, I wanted to stay close to home and, uh, and just have a chance to be around my family. So, uh, I mean, Kentucky's a great basketball school and, uh, and, and, and they produce a lot of pros and, and they win a lot of games. But for me, I just wonder, uh, I really just want to stay close to home. Moore is one of the most highly sought after basketball players in the country because he dominates the court. But the young sharpshooter is also getting attention, in part due to his 4.0 GPA and easygoing demeanor. I don't know, we talked we talk real recent, right? Oh yeah, what was, what was it, uh, yesterday? Like yesterday, right? <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I just came back from Duke last weekend. Okay. Uh, went to NC State and Wake Forest a couple weekends ago, and then uh, I go to Carolina October 12th. Okay. Kind of look at your grades, mm -hmm. kind of look at some stuff with you. How, how's the year going so far? I know everything's good. Uh, a lot of college classes are going smooth, so. Yeah, I know they usually do. You usually do pretty well. So, uh, so it's really one of those students that um, are at the top of my list when I think about um, just being responsible, hard work, hard working, um, and just overall just a nice kid to know. Well, I'll let you go. <laughs> I know you got some other stuff you got to do today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Not a problem. Going forward, where do you want basketball to take him? Well, he's getting ready to go to college, and his dream for now is the NBA. And then he wants to be, uh, I don't think he wants to coach, but he wants to be in the sports medicine. So he still wants to stay around where well, he can give back. And my dream for him is to give back, continue to give back. I think I want basketball team is, is just as far as possible. Um, I mean, even after basketball for me, I want to do something involved with basketball, whether it's being a trainer and, and just having the, just having an opportunity to give back what uh, what God gave me. Wendell's family and friends are keeping a safe distance and letting him make as independent a decision as possible. You know, he's we we let him take the lead. And um, at the end of the day, we, we tell him, we're here to support you. I want to make sure it's, it's a great school. Mm -hmm. um, I want to um, also make sure it's going to be a fit. You know, we're used to seeing you play. But we're there to make sure he doesn't, you know, go haywire. And we may disagree, but yet we come to a common, okay. you know, the most important, we, we want to see what Wendell's takeaway was. Mm -hmm. So his decision was basically his own. I kind of talk to him about everything else but recruiting. Because I know he goes through this every single day. And I don't want to be that person. Because I don't want to be the person that pushes him anywhere. I don't want to be the person that this was yours. No, this is not my life. Up oh, Duke. It's, Duke is at the top of my list. Um, it has been since I've been a kid. So that's who I hope he picks. I know where I think he should go. Uh, I think that's the real, uh, this, the best fit for him. and. You know, uh, we support him and his decision. It's up to him um, where he goes. I'll wear the shirt for as long as he's there. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to answer that question. It kind of makes it hard at the end where I can only choose one school. It, it just makes it hard to say no. With decision time only minutes away, all of Moore's choices are in close proximity to home. Will it be NC State? Duke, Wake, or Carolina. Who is he picking? You have to stay tuned. I think he should go. I think it's a real pleasure.
All right, we're back. Great feature, Vosh Ty. That was tremendous. And I can see why Wendell is such a great kid. His, his parents are great. Yeah, I mean, he comes from a good family, a good home. And, you know, that's kind of cliche to say. Um, but, you know, he's just a, he's a good kid, like uh, Jeff said. Yeah, well, and those are the guys you like cheering for. Yeah. You know, guys that get it, they're humble. You know, they, they, the stage isn't too big for them. They don't think too big of themselves. Right. You know, and, and uh, it's good when kids are grounded like that and still want to work hard. Do we have any inclination? I mean, we're, we're the, the, the place is filling up. Yeah. We're getting, uh, I think I'm checking out, we're over 600 uh, in, the, in the, it's like a counter. We're going up. We're blowing up this place. We're drawing. <laughs> it's lit. So, it's what, lit, what is, right? It okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Get it in, Kevin. I know. It's always lit when Kevin's here. No, it's only when you're here. Oh, well, you know, I try to keep it lit. No, I know. Uh, I know how you're rolling. It's always uh, it's, it's always large. But what do we need? What are we hearing? Do we any scuttlebutt? I just told I was when I was walking in. I saw some guys out in the, in the parking lot. Some teammates. They, they were all over the board. Yeah. You're yeah. saying y'all are going to do? Yeah. Well, I, I I mean that's where I'm. You can't going. go wrong. You can't go you wrong. Know, um, but then you know again you look at some of the other intangibles. You know, former teammate. Leaky Black, I brought Carolina. that up, by the way. You know, but then you also hear Kevin Keats, coach at NC State. He's, he's been on the grind. He's yeah. been on the grind yeah. trying to get him in. As you found so, out last week, Vosh Ty. Yeah, Kevin Keats was actually at practice with him last week. And, you know, I hear that Kevin Keats has been really pursuing him. And Kevin Keats is really bringing that North Carolina State program along. He signed Jalen LeCue. Yeah. Wendell Moore would be a great compliment that's to right. LeCue. That's LeCue right. and Moore, I mean, they could really come See, in. That's and, what I'm thinking. You know, I, I just said, you know, I, I know the, the black family, I'm not as good as you, Jay. Yeah, right. But I, I'm just trying to connect some dots. Yeah. My gut feeling is he's going to NC State. That's my gut feeling because of what Vashtai was saying. And, and I guess for me, I would be a little bit surprised at that. Um, I guess I'm looking at the other intangibles, such as three, maybe four Duke players have an opportunity to be one and done. Mm -hmm. So you look so at playing time, great opportunity right now to be able to step right in, start working from the beginning, get the coaching that he needs. You know, I can see him probably being one of those kids. Again, his grades are good and all of that. Yeah. Maybe taking a summer session at Duke and, and, mm -hmm. and, and or wherever he winds up. Right. And start that process early and getting ready. You know, so that's what I look you at. You equate it like in, in high school football, the guy leaves high school is after like the first semester of his senior year to get started early. Is that yeah. what's kind of like the, yes, the basketball that, that's guys exactly yeah. they enroll in the of. summer and they get, they get their feet wet academically? It's exactly what I'm thinking of. You know, I mean, that's how I say that he's a great student yeah. already. You know, he's taking all these honor classes and all of those types of things. Something I never did, by the way, but I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Oh, it looks like we're getting started. Yeah. We're going to take it over here to window. Check out the announcement. All right.
Guys, there you have it. Wendell is headed to Duke. How do you want to do this? You gonna go? I think we're on now. Right. I think right. are we? We're rolling, right? Okay. Wendell is headed to Duke. I we I, 
Y'all are I'm right, not, I'm wrong, not, nothing, nothing I'm, new there. I'm not <laughs> shocked. Listen, honestly, guys, and I wanted to say this earlier. If you are a kid and you are in high school and you're one of these blue chip guys and you want to go to the league, you go to Duke. That's how it is right now. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, they 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 have great success, especially as of late. You know, with the train that 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 starts at Duke and ends in the NBA for a lot of these players. Right. But it's as I was saying earlier. You know, I think it's a great situation and great opportunity for him to be able to do that. You know, he can start working on his game. He's going to get, of course, some of the best coaching around. Yep. You know, and 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 I, I was going to say this earlier. But there was one other little intangible that, that I didn't mention that I thought that we should have brought out is USA Basketball. Right. Yeah. right now, who's the king of USA Basketball but Coach K? You know, so all of that, that in, in involvement and engagement with USA Basketball, I think but also had a point to play. But he's still well-connected. And, and of Greg course. Popovich and uh, Jerry Colangelo, that, that, that's a great organization. Exactly. So, I mean, if being involved in that, definitely the pipeline you can go through Duke. For sure. Well, and I think, again, it just makes sense, you know, because, again, you have all of these players, you know, from the Zion Williamson's and on and on that are currently at Duke. Right. They're all going to be one-and-done guys. And with them being one-and-done guys, he can literally work hard, step right into it, one of those positions, and start his maturation uh, process. Guys, I have a little inside information. So, EYBL, I followed Wendell a little bit playing on the EYBL circuit. Mm -hmm. Coach K was there every huh. time. Coach K was watching every game. Coach K was taking notes on Wendell's game the whole time. He really wanted Wendell. I really feel like he thought that, you know, this would be the centerpiece that he built this mm -hmm. class around. And now he's going to Duke. And I'm sure that those guys um, in Krzyzewskiville couldn't be more pleased. No, exactly that. I mean, you look at pieces, like you said. He's going to be you're one wearing of the, the wrong state of blue, and I'm wearing the right one, apparently. So. Well, <laughs> trust me, this is not indicative of I who know. I follow. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> not at all. But, you know, to, that's one of the other differences as well. When you look at, okay, who's actually out scouting my games? Is it the assistant coach or is it the head coach? Mm. Right. Exactly what you just said, Vasa. Right. When you see Coach K that's big time. actually there, they're serious. Yeah. They're serious. When you have the assistant coach, well, they may be lukewarm, you know, but ultimately the one that's going to pull that, that decision out is the head coach because his job depends on it. So now I think we have to look ahead. So now this is actually the first signing of the 2019 exactly right. class for Duke. Um, and they still have Vernon Carey, who has yet to announce. You have Cole yep. Anthony, who has yet to announce. Yep. All of these are big-time guys who Duke is going after. Yep. And, I and, and, if, and if you see it, these t right now, guys team up to try to get on squads to make a good tournament run. And so this signing, now we will see who, what other building blocks fall into place as far as will Carey now go. They all played on EYBL. Yep. That's the yep. important connection that you have to think about. Will Vernon Carey, who's number two, go to Duke? Um, and follow Wendell or will you know will Cole Anthony I think and, and Cole Anthony is legit he is the legit truth. I thought I was will, no. <laughs> <laughs> will he wrestling. will he follow Wendell so guys like to get these commitments now because that helps out with other recruiting and that and that in that process for the year that's exactly right and I'll tell you you know Greg Anthony Cole's dad is a is a friend of mine as well you know, and I, I, I've well, stayed away from player, making Greg that. Anthony? Can you give us Most a scoop definitely. on Cole? I, I can't. Uh. I can't right now, you know, but I'll tell you. I was doing a little research in, in for this, and in a lot of updates and, and quotes, you see Duke in a lot of mm. those quotes. You know, so you look at, again, as like they did last year with R.J. Barrett, right. Zion Williamson. All of them fit the puzzle. You know, okay, you have know a window what doing now. Duke, you know? Okay, now you look at who's next. Yeah. Could it be Cole? You know, who else could it potentially be? Yeah. But I, I, I can see Cole being a Duke Blue Devil. I listen. I, I don't see him going several other places. I don't care if you like UNC, if you like Duke, if you like NC State. There is good basketball in the state of North Carolina with the ACC and, and this signing. I can't wait to see Wendell play and cover him and, and LeCue and whomever else signs, right. but it's just a testament to Hoop State yeah. and, and, and 
the and the and the rich tradition of, of basketball that's here, and I, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you the other thing that's important here is the earlier that these guys sign, that means they're locked into that spot. So then other guys will then mm -hmm. look to go somewhere else. So now with Wendell signing, so any other you know two maybe three you know position players like up. Oh, Maybe I now look at Carolina. Well, he's the anchor. You know, when, when Moore's the he's, anchor. He's, he's, he's one of the pieces. The class. He's one of the pieces. Now he's I'm gonna tell pieces, you, but he's um, pretty, well, he's a pretty big piece. That's unless you sign Cole Anthony. Okay. Yeah. You sign Cole Anthony, all of a sudden, and again, please, no disrespect oh, no. to Wendell, you know, more at all. But Cole Anthony is like one of those, you know, kind of once in a lifetime type players. Right. And um, he got the goods. I he think we're going to try to get Wendell. Are we going to try to get Wendell? See, uh, Kevin okay. told me we're going to try to get uh, him. He's, I know he's got uh, a lot of commitments right now, and uh, he's talking to a lot of friends and some uh, teammates and some uh, well-wishers. And uh, Kevin Tolbert uh, on injured reserve, it looks like uh, walking, uh, he's got his knee wrapped. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to get down there or not. He might have to, might have to call a runner or something. <laughs> but I know one thing, uh, Vashtai, people can keep up with the, all the signings on ADSN and the Carolina Blitz. Yeah, thank you. How do they you. do that? Well, of course, of course, ADSN on Facebook, uh, ADSN TV, and Carolina Blitz. I have been following Wendell for quite some time. And I follow the Carolina Blitz. Yeah, CarolinaBlitz.com. Power. Well, you know, I'm, I, you know, it's just a little baby connections. But you know, I'm not know trying to. Gotta I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm being, I'm being humble a little there bit. But yeah, CarolinaBlitz.com is where you can go. I will have all of this up. Also, the feature that we did with Wendell is up, uh, and so we're. Uh, I'm, we gonna go. We're gonna keep going. He's. Uh, we're, we're trying to get. Uh, we're trying to arrange for. Uh, when the more come in, some of his uh, teammates yeah, so are coming by, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, he's gonna stop by. But uh, yeah, I, I really like what, what you're doing in terms of the coverage. Not just uh, Carolina Panthers. You do a good job there. ACC. Uh, Football and basketball, but Thank the high school you. sports as well. Yeah, the grassroots I'm learning now is yeah. where it's at. And I, I was just talking to Jeff. I can't wait to cover his tournament yeah. in Give December. Us information about that, Jeff. Well, it's the Hoodies House National High School Hoops Classic. You know, formerly the Bojangles Shootout, and um, you know, it's been known as ranked by USA Today as you know number one post Christmas high school basketball. Not us saying it's country. USA Today. No, it's saying USA it. Today. Right. So it's not me. You know, it's not anybody else. Stun on them a little bit, Jeff. Straight from USA Stun on them a little bit. You know, <laughs> so you know, and, and we've had a lot of success. And when is that? And what is it? A website it's gonna be or anything? December twenty seventh through the 29th. Um, I'm not yet gonna release the teams, and I'm not gonna yet release the location. You know, and uh, but but be on the lookout for the great information. I will say this. As of right now, it's looking like we're going to have at least three teams that are going to be ranked in the top 25 in USA Today. Nice. That's going to be attending nice. the tournament. Is there with a some high for the tournament? As well. people yeah, Hoodies Classic, hoodiesclassic.com. Um, and, and with that, you can see some testimonials from several players that have played in our tournament, such as Stephen Curry, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. Oh, I love um, him. That's my guy. Yeah, you know, uh, Anthony Morrow, Gerald Henderson. Yeah. Charlotte's own Anthony and Morrow, right? Very much so. He's been on He's our show. He's one of our... He's one of our ADSN guys, <laughs> one of yes. our analysts. Yes, very much so. But, yeah, so definitely need to, to keep an eye on that. We have a great field that's coming. And, um, you know, we got some kids that have already committed to ACC as well that's going to be... Right. Um, We're, uh, a lot of commitments here for Wendell Moore. He's got uh, a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, everybody who's watching, directions. continue to watch because Wendell is coming, and we are going to talk to him very shortly about the, this process and, and just get some get the first words from him yeah. after making this announcement. I know that he, in talking to him, is more than just relieved to have it over with. Yeah. And now he can focus on basketball and training and getting better um, yeah. now that he's announced that he's going to play for Duke. He made my daughter happy, biggest Duke basketball fan I know and we're always wears the gear uh, Elizabeth Casey uh, well the one thing I know for certain mom and dad will probably enjoy this time of year is because their phones won't be ringing as right. much she said that you know yeah. and, and you don't have to worry about the various text messages or hidden messages you're and, still taking coach K's call though well, you, you, well that call is going to have to actually going to have to still slow down as well he has stayed you got there. basketball coming going, up but he hasn't officially signed yet so you still have to now, be careful there's careful. still NCAA rules and, and everything Exactly right. They have to, have, uh, but Coach K is not a guy that uh, violates him, so you know. He's not good, that he's we good know. Man. No. Oh, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, chill. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Jeff, come on, man. Oh, oh my. No, that's gay, man. Don't, no, don't, don't be no, no, gay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I love no, Coach K. You know, he's, 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 there's, a th- there's a big jersey on the, up in the rafters that has a 1,000, and it's counting. You know, yeah. They've got a lot of wins up there with and, Coach K. And, and, again, that was all tongue-in-cheek. I there's know. nothing to it at all. Yeah. I mean, Coach K, he doesn't have to do that now. No, he's you know, Coach K. He, he is actually able to sit back and say, okay, yeah, I'll take you, I'll take you, and not so much you. Yeah. And and that's what he's that's built a good, up. That's he, a good problem to have. That's exactly right. That's and, a good um, problem to have. You know, but I tell you, the other thing is, you know, we're talking about and we look at the effect that this had on the Duke program. But what does this do for NC State? Mm. Sorry about what your luck, man. Do? Yeah, you get the you next know, guy. But, well, is there a next guy? Well, you get the best. Uh, who, you know? who, who's left? And and but 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 somewhere in there. You know, in talking about the ACC and, and, and the Tobacco Road yeah, and all of this, Wake, State, these Virginia, are some of these Virginia battles Tech, that you have Charlotte. to win. They're, they're all trying to you get these You can't always be the stepchild. Yeah. you got to win these yeah. to keep your program going. And it's going. important to note that Patrick, uh, Patrick Williams, Patrick Williams, Patrick Florida Williams State. announced, and, and they were NC State was going after him pretty hard, and he did not pick NC State. He yep. will not be playing at home in uh, North Carolina. He's going to Florida State, That's right. another ACC school, good competition. But, you know, that's Hunter another Hamilton. guy that that NC State missed out on. But I, I like what Keats is doing so far, and I think he'll probably get another good guy. It's sure. just not it, – it may not be the window more tight. It's, it's, it's just a tough <laughs> – it's a tough recruiting area. I yeah. mean, when you when you're NC State and you have to go up against every year, Duke, Carolina, you're playing for NC third, State, basically. You, I mean, you know, no, no I mean, Wake, you know, and and that's a tough recruiting. It's no class. wonder I was riding the uh, I covered the Clemson uh, uh, Wake Forest bat football game the other day, and I rode right. the elevator down with Danny Manning, head coach, and I, I told right. him where I was, and uh, he when he was kind of yeah uh, good talking to he, I think yeah. he knew. Yeah, no, and we, non-committal. We have Windows Trainer. Do you want to come get on? Come uh, on, come talk to us about the process. Get in here. Uh, yeah, come on in. All right, so Duke, it is. Duke, it is. Were you surprised, <laughs> or you know? Uh, no, not really. Not so really. Why do you think he chose Duke over NC State over UNC? Brotherhood. That's where he always wanted to go. Forever. Mm-hmm. Like since he was 11 years old. Since mm-hmm. I known him. That's, all, that's where he always wanted to go. So I was, I was pretty pleased. I was happy. Okay. Yeah. And what? I've heard that as well as, as within the inner circle, I understand people call him actually Junior. Mm-hmm. You know, as Junior was growing up and being young guy and all, I heard that as well, that it was always Duke and then everybody else, yeah. even when he wasn't on the path of, that he was on. Yeah, it was. You know, so I think this has really had a great opportunity for, him, for it all to come full circle for him. Yes, yes, yes. That, I mean, I, I'm just happy you picked it. I'm happy he got to go to his dream school. That's what every little kid yeah. wants, to go to their dream school. He, got to, he was able to do it. So you know Window, You know his game. What kind of player is Duke getting? And we also talked about who we, who we would liken his game to. Mm-hmm. So tell me, how, how would you liken his game and what kind of player is Coach K getting? I think he's a Paul George mode, but I think he's the most versatile player in the class of 2019 mm-hmm. in the country, period, point blank. I know I might be biased, but – I just see him doing just a little everything. Bit. <laughs> yeah. But just I, but, little I, but just he's the most versatile player in the class. If you want him to score, he can do that. If you want him to play point guard, he can do that. Um, I don't consider him a small forward. I consider yeah. him a combo guard because yeah. he can play every position. Yeah. One to one to three. I All think right. he can do it. So Okay, so let me let me ask you this. So what I've heard, and 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 actually not because I'm suggesting it, but I prefer I would prefer this comparison. That he's a poor man, Kawhi Leonard. Paul uh, George is is not as well rounded as a player as Kawhi Leonard. He's as good as Kawhi Leonard. And, <laughs> well, I I, I I think that there are some shortcomings in Paul George's okay. game versus more of a complete all around defender, Kawhi. You know, and, and, and he has all of these intangibles that I think could bring about those comparisons. Step in here, if you don't mind. Paul George. Got your training. Yeah. We're talking. Thanks, Dominique. Got, names are oh. going out. Uh, names, names like Paul George <laughs> and Kawhi Leonard are getting thrown oh, around. Oh, we uh, got the man. I know you're happy to have this over with. For sure. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So Thank just you. tell us, you made the decision now. How do you feel? Uh, I mean, I feel great. Uh, he's, he's probably one of the best decisions I've, I've ever made in my life. What kind of player is Coach K getting? And this whole, I've, I've followed you on EYBL. Yeah. Coach K has been there. Is that 
you know, why did you pick Duke specifically out of, outside of all the other all the other schools? Yeah. I'll probably say because the family aspect that they bring. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, when I was on the visit, they always have like uh, all the NBA guys come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, and hopefully, I want that to be me someday. Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's fast forward with this 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 train a little bit. Mm. Okay, so you're on Duke's campus. Yeah. What's one of the first things in your game? that you were looking forward to getting that level of coaching from Duke University to upgrade your game. What yeah. is that thing that you're looking for? Um, really is everything. I mean, just, I, I mean, really just trying to soak everything up. Mm -hmm. uh, coach K's one, he, matter of fact, he, he is the best coach ever coached in the mm -hmm. game, in, in my opinion. And um, I, I'm just having an opportunity to learn from him. Mm -hmm. so, and I, I mean, I'm gonna soak everything up he tells me to do. Right. <laughs> now, I hear that, that, that back in the day or within your inner circle, everybody really calls you Junior. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so I hear that Junior growing up always liked Duke Blue Devils. Yes, I do. Okay. So now this has come full circle for you. Yeah. With that, I'm always, as a former player myself, you know, I always look at and try to compare games, mm. styles. Yeah. I hear that you kind of like to pattern your game a little bit as, as a Paul George yeah, I type player. Yeah. But then those on the outside looking in has a comparison, which I prefer, mm. of you to more of a poor man's Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, mm. I like that better. Yeah. I, by the way, if you, ever get drafted by, if you ever get drafted by the Spurs, <laughs> don't ever leave, okay? I'm just well, saying. And, 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 and so first, what do you? What would you think of if somebody, if you heard someone was comparing your your level of game to a Kawhi Leonard? Yeah, I mean that's a compliment to me. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a, I mean he's he's NBA All Star for a reason. Um, mm -hmm. I mean never he's the best two way player in the league in my mm -hmm. opinion. Uh, he he can score whenever he needs to. Two time defensive player. Two time year. defensive player of the year. Mm -hmm. I mean so he's the best at what he does. Yeah. Well, and and that's why from a periphery looking at your game, yeah. that's what I see from you. Exactly. I see you can do. This you can do. This you kind of check a lot of the boxes. Yes, sir. Whereas for me, Paul George, Paul George doesn't always check all of the quite all of the boxes. <laughs> yeah, you know. You and, talking about his man, Jeff? Uh, chill, I'm, chill. Hey, like I told you earlier, Vasha, I'm, I'm from New York. I'm, I come straight. So. Now, now, okay. what was it like? You know, you say you you grew up. That was Duke was your team. Yeah. What was it like when you you went there and and the conversation? Yeah. What what was going on in your mind when Coach K says? How'd you like to go to Duke? You got a full ride to Duke. Yeah. What was that like? Um, I mean, for me, I, for me, I, I was probably gonna commit right on the spot. Um, mm. I, I mean, but unfortunately, I, I had to go through the recruiting process, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I had four great schools at the end, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately, I can only choose one. I mean, but I think I made the best decision. You certainly did. Yeah, so I rode around the elevator from the football game with Danny Manning the other day, and he wasn't uh, didn't really want to talk to me too much. I now know why. <laughs> so, so now I have this one last thing. Okay. Now I know guys know how been around it quite quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. From from the Curries to on and on and on. Yeah. So now who do you start recruit? Um, or some of your guys. Ooh. You're trying to get who it. do you start recruiting to, to tag with you at uh, with Duke? Uh, I got three players: uh, uh, Vernon Carey, Isaiah mm -hmm. Stewart, and Matthew Hurt. Okay. There you go. All right. Put them on notice. Yes, uh, I'm all for <laughs> Let's that. Let's go. Uh, we're, we're all for it. And we, we know you're getting pulled in a lot of directions. Yeah. A lot of media want to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank and uh, good luck uh, moving forward. Man. Enjoy your senior year. Enjoy. All right, man. All right. Good luck. Uh, well, you had it right. You, you heard it right here on uh, ADSN. And I'm sure you'll have an extensive feature on the Carolina Blitz, Vashtai. Yes. Uh, this is a this is a pretty big deal. And uh, I, I think he's made a, a, tr a tremendous decision. And the names that he just dropped. Yeah, you get those guys in there. Listen, you're talking not just rebuild, it's reload. It's yeah. lit. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and again, that's what like we were talking about earlier. You know, like this year's Duke, Duke's class, mm -hmm. they all fit a piece. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's. I not, love that it's, question, it's, by the way. Man, it's not just about you know where you are. You know, because if you lose, if you're losing, and you're a part of that losing, you're a loser too. Right. Okay. So you have to get people around you as well. That is. Equally wanting to work hard, play hard, play off of each other, willing to make that sacrifice.